protesters show up at a local school with some graphic posters. And some of the images are so disturbing that we can't even show them on TV. And that's what has some of the parents in Hawkinson pretty upset tonight. Our Jennifer Dowling went to the school to get answers from the protesters and the district. And she joins us live with more on all this. Jennifer. Good evening, Jeff. There was some yelling back and forth here in front of the school. The demonstrators call themselves abolitionists, and they certainly tangled with parents today. They feel high schools are the front lines in the battle against abortion, and some parents simply feel they're taking it too far. I understand free speech, but I sure as heck hope you're not approaching it. Angry parents sounded off about their disgust with anti-abortion protesters staked outside Hawkinson High School with signs that were so graphic. That's an appalling picture. We aren't showing them on TV. I was extremely shocked. Mark Held is the parent of a 15-year-old here. It made me angry, but also I, I kind of put myself in the children's position of somebody so young uh, witnessing something that graphic. While he understands the message, he says the images are inappropriate. One 16-year-old telling us they shouldn't shove it in our faces like that. And a 14-year-old saying the words are okay, but the pictures are too much. That you have to go to them and really, in a sense, force feed, force feed the facts. We took the questions to local abolitionist leader Don Cooper. Why such graphic content in front of a school? Right, well, in front of us, a couple of things. One is that this is the age group that, um, as we mentioned earlier, abortions, people are having abortions. If, if, if a uh, um, um, young man and young woman are old enough to have an abortion or to get pregnant, then they're, they're old enough to, to, to know the facts. We asked Cooper about Held's specific concerns as well. He feels that it's not appropriate for you to put this in his kid's face when right. he cannot block it. Right. What's your response to that? Right. Well. To, to be honest, first off, I, I oftentimes question the, the how genuine someone is with a response like that. The school superintendent said they can't control the group's free speech and they have the right to be on a public sidewalk, but they are not allowed on school property. The only thing we can do is certainly, you know, make sure that it doesn't come into our system. However, they are still working hard to get that message across. Would you like one? Just let us know what you think. Regardless of the backlash. My kid walks. He's 11, and I had to tell him what an abortion is. Keep your church out of my uterus. It's disgusting. This is in our church. So as you could hear there, a very contentious issue. Now, this group has targeted other schools in the past, but this is the first time that they've targeted this school. Back to you.